Good morning, everybody. This is John 15, verse 4. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. Verse 7 adds, if you abide in me. Now, 2 Corinthians 3, verse 14. Now, thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. One of the big secrets, it seems, of a triumphant Christian life is number one, to be placed in Christ, and number two, to abide in him. The, the first is achieved by God alone. He plants us in Christ when he baptizes us into him by his spirit, as per Romans 6. But the second, to abide in him, that is our part. In the illustration Jesus used, it is obvious to us all that if the branch is not attached to the tree, to the vine, it has no life source and will wither up and die. Its life comes through the root and the trunk. It must be in the vine to have any life at all. Even so we, we must be abiding in Christ to know any real power from God. Paul said in his life in Christ, he always triumphed, always. He was led in triumph by God himself. And the knowledge of God was coming through Paul and others in Christ, ministering to those all around. If we are experiencing failure and defeat, we surely need to look at how we have lived and are living and come back into him, abiding in him. In the same way that it is impossible for a branch to have an existence independent of the tree, except for deadness, of course, it is impossible for the Christian to have life independent of Christ. We are to be dependent on him, seeking him, listening to him, learning from him, obeying him, abiding in him. Then we too will testify, thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ. Amen. Have a great day.